Hello and welcome to another edition of Toys from the Attic. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at another Mighty Max playset. And without further ado, let's open her up and take a closer look inside. Alright, so here we have the Mighty Max Nuke Ranger playset. Now this was actually part of the Horror Heads line. Thusly named because, well, all the playsets in this line resembled some sort of horrific head. You can see that it's a lot smaller and it fits right in the palm of my hand. This means that it is lacking on some of the accessories that the Mighty Max line is known for. However, it's not skimping on any of the detailing. You can see all the little paneling here, the circuitry on the side, and just the overall look of them feels like, well, yeah, it's a mask that someone would wear if they're trying to survive some nuclear disaster. However, it doesn't look like it's working all that well due to the bloodshot eyes. I really like them. It really helps sell the crazed look of this character. That's actually part of the little hover chair that's on the inside, but we'll get to that when we open this guy up. One of the things I really like about here is the actual little part of this on the mask. I know it's, it doesn't really open, but one could easily pretend it's some sort of hatch that leads into a fallout shelter or into the actual nuclear reactor itself. So even though this guy is just, well, it's a head, it does add some external playability for the whole playset. Alright, so once we open it up, we're treated to some detailing of some skeletons that are carved up here on the wall. I guess you could play with this one of two ways. Either that they've been buried alive and are now dead, or they got hit by the nuclear radiation blast and are laying dead in the desert. Kind of morbid either way you think about it. The first little accessory that you come with is the standard little Max guy that comes with every playset. However, this one's sporting a nice little purple cap. I guess they just wanted to change the color up on them and give some little variety to the playsets. And then the next thing is, well, I'm not really sure what this is. You could either pretend it's some sort of computer that controls the nuclear center and it's going after Max. It kind of has that nice crazed look to think like it's an evil computer. Or some sort of hover chair. I like to think that all the chairs that come with the Mighty Max lines are capable of hovering. You see some nice little footprints in here that allow Max to actually stand on it. He's supposed to fit kind of snugly. Ah, there we go. And you can actually see him like flying it around like, ah, I'm going after you guys or I gotta get out of here. The last little accessory is the Nuke Ranger himself. He's lacking a little bit of detailing on the face, but I could overlook that because the general feel of this guy makes it look like he's actually in his nuclear radiation protective suit. So that can explain why it, some of the smooth features on him. He has a little bit of articulation right here on the waist so that he can actually fit in the chair himself and he can fly after Mighty Max and try to attack from above. Ah! The last little, little bit of detailing is actually down here. You see all the circuitry that's leading up to what I'm guessing is the core of the nuclear reactor. Or you could easily just pretend it's some sort of vat of toxic waste that Max might actually fall into. And, well, as far as accessories go, that's just about it. Like I said earlier, this is one of the smaller lines that came out. And so, yeah, they didn't give as much, access, much little uh, toys to play with. However, there's just enough in here to fuel your imagination and make it a fun little experience. Anyways, this has been a look at the Mighty Max Nuke Ranger playset, and it's one that I'm happy to say that I've added to my collection. Once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, please feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below in the comment section. Any advice for the show will be greatly appreciated. Who knows, something you suggest may appear on the show in the future.